So what's the mistake we keep making over and over again? So it turns out the way that the global management system works, and largely this is a management system that was developed in the United States, but it's become completely global. It's a performance-oriented management system. That's how people get compensated in large corporations. So performance is, and, and by the way, not a bad idea, right? I mean, performance is critical success, right? We're, and we're good at managing it. But here's the second sentence. Power fuels performance and performance consumes power. That is not visible in a large corporation. It's a little bit like um, this, you know we want to have this carbon cap and we want to tax carbon emissions? Because right now, if you pollute the air, it's free. And as long as it's free, people will continue in a behavior. Well, consuming power in most compensation systems in most corporations is free. And furthermore, creating power, say around a new strategy, is not compensated. So I get compensating for consuming power for my performance. I do not get compensated, nor do I held, be held, am I held accountable, except in the most kind of qualitative ways, for generating power. So why would you be surprised that large organizations systematically consume their power? Now, the interesting thing is, in a mature industry, you can do that for a long, long time. General Motors consumed its own power for 40 years. Okay? Eventually, it ran out of power. Eventually, the battery will go dead. Okay? But it takes a long, long time. And, and, so, and, then, and the performance metrics don't, don't track against that. So we need to replenish power if we're going to go for the long term. People get that conceptually. Behaviorally, it's hard to integrate it into the corporate systems.